for you to get prepared for life, high school. High school was the shit. I enjoyed my, my time in high school. My four years, it was fun. You got fly, all the girls, you got to sit at the cool table, sports. Shout out to Sal's. Sal's on Franklin Avenue fed everybody that went to Cloud Bar in high school. Fed everybody that went to prostitute, I mean prospect. <laughs> Tell us how that felt in the 90s, 2000s. When you, how, did, how, does, how does that young kid, 14, going into high school, give us, set the scene for us. Man, it, it was beautiful. So when we first came in, they allowed you to, to go to summer school. That was like the, I guess that was the, the little pathway. So at least you you comfortable with school by the time we start in September. So it was like, yo, you go to summer school. I'm like, damn, I ain't really doing nothing this summer. You know what? I'm gonna go to school. I'm happy I did. Got to meet some great cats. Some of them I'm cool with till this day. Beautiful thing, right? Um, you got to navigate. But one of the main reasons too why I went there, I had family there. So you know, I'm, you know, back then you was big on props and you know people having your back. So I have family that went there. You know, they was all they, they was gonna look out for me. They were pretty, you know, solid. You know, that summer school before high school was amazing. We took, you know, it was math, English, and science that we took, so we already starting school out with a couple of credits. Get in there, you know, September comes, you're already familiar with a couple of cats because you, know, you went to summer school, so you're already, you, you're comfortable, you're all right. You know, you've been there a good solid two months already. So you get there, get, you know, used to the schedule, and you're getting to know personality. This is when your personalities are really coming out for people. That's the funny guy, that's the girl who likes to get high, over here, it's the girl that's, you know, doing questionable acts and oh, uh, these are the athletes here and oh, those are the music heads, yeah, 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 we at that table. Oh, they, they gambling there, yo, let me get a hand, I got next, all right? Five, how much a, a hand? I only got $2, all right, cool, I'm playing the next hand. It's a step team over here. These are the cats that want to be part of the yearbook committee, so they rolling with the seniors, teaching them, you know, what's going on. And you had the cats that hung out in the guidance counselor office, so and you had a couple of the scholars over here. So I was, I was pretty much well-rounded to whereas I was, you know, I played ball, you know, I was a music head. It was cool. I was cool with the geeks too. People that cons they considered geeks. Some of them are my friends are politicians now, which, which is I'm glad I didn't diss them in high school. So tell people, be nice to everybody. You don't know who's gonna end up where. Once you become cool with a certain part of the faculty, they see you in a one or two lunch room, you know, lunch period. They don't really say nothing. They just, what not you in third period? Whatever. You just knew how to navigate in high school once you got familiar with who. Once you was a person that was cool with everybody, you could get along with everybody, your navigation went smooth. It was smooth sailing from there. So I didn't really have a problem in high school. High school was smooth sailing. You know, during, this was the height of the, um, the Crip and Blood era. So, you know, I come from a neighborhood of Crips, the 90s. Most of my friends was Crips. I, at one point I thought about it, but I'm like, all my friends is Crips. I don't gotta become a Crip. And then I'm cool with a couple of Bloods on the other side of town. So again, it's how you move and how you navigate and how you carry yourself. Cats ain't really gonna say anything. If you move like a sucker, you'll get treated as such. If you move accordingly, easy peasy. This isn't cats who's getting cut. I was still wearing red in my neighborhood. You think they was gonna touch me? Or when I go over to Franklin Avenue, which was a lot of bloods over there, they wasn't touching me. They saw how I navigated. You know, I didn't, you know, when you've seen the crowds get together, you kind of separate yourself. I, you know, walk that way. Nah, nah, you know what? Let me go this way. This crowd right here, them cops is about to mace. Let me go over here. Magazine era, heavy. We were arguing in the lunchroom about magazines and rap records in there, you know, to come in the lunchroom in the morning before we go upstairs, that weather class started at 9 o'clock or 8.45. You know, weather class started at 8.45 or 9.15. You get that little grace period where you go in the lunchroom before you go upstairs. So we come in. This is, you know, first time going through metal detectors. Go through the metal detectors. They didn't allow CD players, but we knew we used to take the battery out. We had our ways. We throw it in a little bin, have the CD player head go through, won't go off, come back, smooth sailing. So we have our, you know, our music in there. So we'll be in the lunchroom hanging out. They'll have breakfast for people, whatever. So you go in the back, the card games are here. Over here, they trying to do homework before this class. They trying to do a report. Cute girls are here. So, you know, I was sitting with the girls, right? You know, cause, you know, you see, you know, you get familiar. Like I said, you, you became cool with a couple older cats. And depending on where you were in summer school, they'll put you in a higher, you know, class once you start school. So I had class with a bunch of seniors. So the class I had with seniors, they were Sean Maj. They've been in the school all this time. They come this freshman. How the hell he in class with us? You know, I did good in the previous school, so I came in with enough credits. I got class with them. 
got cool with seniors. When you get cool with seniors, you a freshman, you good money. And I already had my family in there, so you know I was good developing a name for myself. I came in with a rapport, you know, oh yeah, that cat is cool, he's from my hoodie from the 90s. Oh, that's, his, that's such and such cousin from the basketball team? Oh, he a cool dude? Such and such cousin that be coming here and pick him up the red Lexus? Oh, he cool, he good. I was good, man. Know your role, stay in your lane, and be yourself. That was high school.